How to get rid of PMI, private mortgage insurance. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty. I'm here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage. Today we're talking about private mortgage insurance and how to get rid of it. So, kind of a quick recap. You got a loan, you have PMI on the loan, right? And what is PMI? Private mortgage insurance. Unless you put 20% down, essentially you're going to have private mortgage insurance, which is a risk layer provided by the bank or an outside company okay. to help you avoid putting 20% right. down. So you can put so, 5 or 10% down. So I put maybe 5% down. Yeah. I got PMI because it was less than 20% down. Mm -hmm. So now I have PMI. Now my house is appreciated or I've done improvements, which has had the house appreciate or I've lived there for 20 years and the house is appreciated. Right. The house is appreciated, point is. That's right. How do I get rid of this PMI? Well, yeah, I mean, first thing, it obviously, like you said, maybe it's a year or two later. You're wa really what I always encourage clients to do because I get this question all the time. How long right. do I have PMI? How long do I have to keep it? You know, is it mandatory? And I say, no, you can remove it. You just have to have at least that 20% equity. You right. have to show that, that there's 20% equity. And it's usually done by providing a, like a new appraisal. And there is an automatic roll off, right? So if, if I'm in the yeah. house and I put 10% down and I continue to make my principal and interest payments, at what point does the bank say, okay, automatic roll of PMI? About 60 years? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 60 years into a 30-year they, they The banks tell us, and I'm making fun of my own institutions here, but 78% uh, of the original appraised value. Right. So it's very difficult to get you without motivation from the client. And that's, and that's my point here, folks, is that take control of your PMI by calling your realtor. You want to be proactive. Calling your lender and you want to see what's going on. Oh, your neighbor just sold two houses down for you know a lot more than what you paid. That's when it goes, ooh, maybe I can do it, right? That's right. the stuff you want to look out so for. So market value comps of other properties yep. that are you similar. did a lot of work, a renovation. So yep. that's the other one. So yep. I buy a house and in the first year, first two years, I go in, I do a new kitchen, and I do new baths and painting and all that good stuff. My yeah. house is obviously, I got sweat equity now, right? A lot, yeah. So my house is now worth more, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. that's can I get rid time. of PMI? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, right. And that's when you would, again, maybe call your realtor or, or your lender or both and say, hey, you know, Jeff, I, I bought my house two years ago for 500. What do you think now? And you say, right. you look up the comps and say, oh, geez, you know what? You could probably sell that for 710 all day long. And I great. look up the comps. I say 710, great. So now it's time for you to move to your second step, which is calling your bank where you're, they're going to reappraise the house. We're right? going to reappraise it. Right, right, right. And at the same time, obviously, we're going to consult you on how the best way to remove PMI is. Uh, maybe get a new appraisal, verify those comparables. And maybe at the same time, I'm going to say, hey, what's your current rate? And you're like, oh, wait, I'm, I'm still at four and a half percent. And we, maybe we're at three and a quarter. So right. we would look at a potential refinance. You do not have to refinance. We can still do it. But a lot of times, I've been doing this for a long time, a lot of times it makes sense to combine that with a refinance. Now, is there any time period for certain mortgage products where you can't roll off PMI? It's usually just uh, six months to a year based okay. on Fannie and Freddie. Uh, sometimes they'll have stipulations that you just can't get rid of PMI right away. Uh, in the rare case that maybe you put 5% or 10% down because you're waiting to sell a house or something like that. Right. And then you call me six months later and say, hey, I sold my house. I want to put $500,000 down. And right. that's a big deal. We usually talk about that and have a plan of action before that because it affects a few different things. Uh, so it's very, very rare that that happens. But yes, that's, I'll just say on a case by case basis. And, and obviously we consult the client. And that's, and that's situated and everybody's situation is different and that's when they really need to reach out to you or me or you know get a, definitely a little bit more advice well you make an action plan right? right just on how you're going to do that because it would be that rare case again where hey i'm going to gut renovate this place and i'm going to call right. you in nine months or again i have usually it's i have a house to sell I want to borrow 700000 now, but I really, at the end of six months or nine months, I want a loan of about 200000 How does that change, right? And, and the refinance works now in, in lower rate environments, but if sure. you have increasing rate environments, it really might make a huge difference for you to just get rid Stay of the Stay right line where you are, right? Keep your interest rate at that <laughs> right. 2.7%. I'm not going to try to give you 5% right? if you're at 3%. Exactly. Of course, we can still do the removal of the PMI. We just have to show uh, the you know, the, 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 that the equity is there. And it's obviously usually done, very rarely not done without an appraisal right. because it's difficult to show the bank. And remember, in fairness, the bank doesn't willingly want to give up those PMI monthly monthly stipends, so, um, which, which you understand. But we want to show that appraisal, get evaluated, and we usually get it done within a couple of months or one billing cycle. Well, I remember years ago on a house that we bought, right? And we got well, our first house, my first house, I put 3% down. My second house, I put 10% down. And now my third house, I put 20% down. Kind of the, the way it ultimately sure? works, right? Yeah. So I remember putting down the 10% and, you know, our, our mortgage payment. And we had PMI. Um, and I remember the market appreciating and, and, and you know, us refinancing because mm -hmm. we got a better rate. 
And we rolled off PMI, and, and it was a and it made sense. It was hundreds right. of dollars. It was one of those things where the, the house yeah. was appreciating, obviously in a good market, and the rates were still coming down a little bit too. So it made sense to combine the two. It, can be, it could be a huge difference. Yeah, yeah for us, and it was only a couple of years, if I remember right. It, it, it was, was probably it was, about it was, eighteen months or something. Yeah, right? It was, it was the swing of the market. Yeah, but yep. yeah. So so basically, the thing to remember, and the thing to know is number one, PMI isn't forever. If the market continues to appreciate, you can roll it off. Um, you definitely want to talk to your real estate agent as well as your mortgage banker as well as just your bank. Um, and you want to talk to your mortgage banker to see if it makes sense. Well, does it make sense to refinance? Because for me, my rate went down as well as getting rid of PMI. So it was kind of like a double whammy in regards right. to savings. Um, so there's a lot there to do and a lot to know about PMI. Reach out. Again, everybody's situation is different. So you, you really want to reach out to professionals that you work with. Um, and if you're enjoying this content, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty. Jason? Yes, Jason Monterigo, RMS Mortgage. Uh, cell phone is the best way, 617-413-5038. Give me a call or send me a text. And you can always reach us at 617-480-2600 or online at boston2.com. Thanks for watching. We look forward to hearing from you and hope you're having a great day.